so far to Harbor Wolf. Like it or not, for the moment, the Earth is where we make our sand. Well, let's start 2021 off with a bang, shall we? Flurfs and other reality deniers seem to be afraid of me for some reason. They almost always decline to debate me, and they never make response videos to me. Before now, there had been only one response video ever made toward me, and I didn't consider it valid because it was an idiot stoner filming his television screen and mumbling unintelligibly. But now, a proper response video to me has been made. A little while ago, I came across the channel of Expat Taffy, and I laughed at his draconian requirements for being on YouTube and debating with him, and had a light laugh at his lack of evidence for an Apollo hoax. Taffy subsequently blew his top and began babbling at length to himself in various comment threads, every sentence punctuated with either the word idiot or twat. He threw several hissy fits, shit all over the floor, and then proclaimed he was going to make not one video on me, but several. He has since released part 1 and part 3 with the explanation that the second part is taking longer to upload, due to his inability to comprehend basic grade level presentation skills which would dictate that he hold part 3 until part 2 is completed, I'll only be reviewing the first video. I won't review anything else, as it seems this incontinent old man saw my subscriber account and began throffing at the mouth, desperate for attention. He seems to be some kind of masochist, as his videos frequently have a roughly 0% like ratio, and his comments are filled with reasonable people telling him how stupid he is. So with that said, I won't be indulging his weird obsessive bloodlust. This is going to be my second, and barring extreme circumstances, final video on Mr. Taffy. Before we get into his video response to me, first I'd like to show you something on Amazon that I was shown by a viewer named Jim Smith. If that really is your name. This is a book titled Alien Mysteries Solved with the word Alien inappropriately capitalized, allegedly written by our dear Taffy. The description says, Irrefutable evidence of messages received and alien activity on planet Earth. While writing this book, the author underwent an extraordinary experience. He received messages from an unknown source regarding the contents of the book. These messages contained vital, hitherto unknown information about the history and origins of planet Earth. Due to the nature and content of these communications, it became obvious to the author that their source must be aliens. Irrefutable credibility was delivered in the form of firmed evidence of their presence and of their activity on Earth 2,000 years ago. Based on such evidence, the author assures readers that this book will deliver 1. To NASA, great embarrassment. 2. To UFO slash alien enthusiasts, confirmation and satisfaction. 3. To all doubters and skeptics, inevitable defeat as they will not be up against the author of this book, but against powers far more advanced than all of us. Well, it sure sounds like Taffy. But just to be clear, this is what he believes in. He believes that he spoke with aliens. Taffy's book has one star on Amazon, the result of a single review titled from ice to liquid magma? The review is not a very positive one, as you can see. 15 people found this review helpful, and it was a verified purchase, meaning that person did in fact read the material. So what was the point in looking up Taffy's book? Oh, uh, just poisoning the well is all. Now let's have a look at Taffy's video on me titled, Dead Kennedy Gets His Arse Kicked by the Brilliant Expat Taffy Volume 1. I'm going to skip through the first couple minutes because he just repeats himself with idiotic statements that I already responded to in my previous video. He tells the story of how he was once an Apollo believer, quote, just like me, and once again, I don't care and I don't believe you. He again states that his reason for believing in the landings was because he saw them on TV, which, again, is a stupid reason, and you were stupid before you were a reality denier. He then again states his contradictory story that he had the seed of doubt planted in the 1980s and then proceeded to watch YouTube videos that wouldn't exist for another 15 to 20 years. Let's sum up everything Taffy said up to this point. Dead Kennedy? Mr. Stupid Dead Kennedy? I said to myself, that's fake. The morons. I was no expert, okay? Now, a full 5 minutes and 40 seconds into his 28-minute video, 
Taffy is finally about to say something that isn't a repeat from my previous video on him. This old man has the presentation skills of a five-year-old. Okay, Mr. Empty Head Kennedy, here's the first photo I started out with in my earlier days examining these fake Apollo photos. Now, what I can tell you is this photo here now, which is supposed to be in the first photo taken after they landed on the moon, this photo, thanks to the brilliant expat Taffy's discoveries, this photo has now been deleted. Jesus, how many times did he say, this photo? Get the words out, you ridiculous geezer. Anyway, he's already been caught in a lie. He said the photo has since been deleted. No, it hasn't. In fact, that's not a true Apollo image to begin with. It's a composite of at least two photos found right here on NASA's website. They are AS11-40-5863 and AS11-40-5864, with the top right portion of the image coming either from digital editing or a third photo that I simply can't find. In fact, here's the two images composited together as it was originally presented, before Taffy dishonestly cropped out the bottom and lied about the origins of the image. Now what I can tell you, Mr. Dead Ed Kennedy, is at the time I first examined this, I could find 18 anomalies in this photo proving it to be 100% fake. I am sure you did find a number of anomalies in this edited photo that has never been presented as a true raw image. Hell, it doesn't even have the fiducial markers like all Apollo 11 photos do. Congratulations, you discovered a clearly edited photo is clearly edited. What a fucking galaxy brain you have. As time go has gone on, I've discovered more. There's a lot more than 18 on this photo. And now it's been deleted thanks to the brilliant expat Taffy. Except it hasn't been deleted, you are lying, and until you provide a citation showing an archived version of the website, I will continue to call you a liar. Now, Mr. Dead Head Kennedy. As I said, initially, over 18 anomalies discovered in that photo. <clears throat> I won't be wasting too much time on all of them here. I'll give you the link to the video I done six years ago on it. But what I will do, I'll show you a few of those clues here. Some um, of my favorites. And why are they my favorites? Because they prove that idiots like you and any other supporter of NASA and nothing but mentally insane arseholes. Now what I'm going to show you, remember the words of Sherlock Holmes, from what your eyes see, what does your brain deduce? Let's see how you view these clues, Mr. Deadhead Kennedy. Oh my god, get on with it. Stop prattling on about fictional cocaine addicts. You just spent a full minute saying nothing more than, I'm gonna show you something. You might want to get to the point, Taffy. It doesn't look like you have very much time left. There you are, Mr. Dead Ed Kennedy. There's one of the early discoveries of me, the brilliant expat Taffy. That photo was photoshopped and made in 27th of the 3rd, 2008. There's the data staring you in the face. Okay, Mr. No, that's text on a screen. Okay, mister? None of the numbers on the screen match anything relevant in a Google search, so all you did was point at something. It's not even clear what, because you couldn't be bothered to explain it to anyone, and then flash some text up on the screen. Watch, I can do it too. Anyway, this photo likely was made in 2008. As I said earlier, it's a composite of two images, which is likely what the arrow is vaguely pointing out. Again, congratulations on your non-discovery. Gonna skip past the rest of his babbling about this photo since I've already completely torn it to shreds. He does briefly point at some lines in the image and claims that they're wires for a floodlight, but they don't match what he's comparing it to in any way, and I can't verify anything in the top right corner of the image anyway. Next. Okay, Mr. Dead Ed Kennedy, time to take your hand off your cock and tell us what this is. Is it a shadow or is it a rock? Remember what I told you? From what your eyes see, what does your brain deduce? There you are. Dead Kennedy, as far as the brilliant expat Taffy is concerned, 
Here's what my eyes see and what I deduce. What this object looks like to me is a black figure. It can't be a shadow because there's no obstructing objects to create it. But it looks exactly like a bird perched on the back of an armadillo. You can see wings, a tail, two legs, a head and a beak. And with the armadillo below, you can see a head, a snout, and front feet. Okay then. I think I might be about done with Taffy because I legit don't even see what he's talking about. I see a rock. I don't see a bird or an armadillo. At all. I'm not being funny. Seriously, someone screenshot this image and draw some lines on it because I legitimately do not see a fucking thing there. Okay, Mr. Deadhead Kennedy. Here's the last of the lem photos that buzz coming down the ladder. In this photo, a very serious anomaly, and going on the saying of the famous Sherlock Holmes, from what your eyes see, what do you deduce? My eyes see one serious anomaly, and my brain deduces it's a deliberately inserted whistleblower's clue, where the whistleblowers are trying to tell us it's fake and not on the moon. Well, take a look at it, you and Mr. Dead Egg Kennedy. That photo there with Buzz, he's come down the ladder and he's standing in the footpad of the Lem. And surprisingly enough, a discovery by me, the brilliant expat Taffy, something in the footpad of the Lem. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Let's take a look at it, shall we? We'll brighten it up. Well, 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 look what we've got here, Mr. Dead Head Kennedy. <laughs> In the footpad of Buzz Aldrin's Len, we've got a wee little pink flamingo. <laughs> and he haven't got a space suit on. <laughs> now what's he doing up on the moon, idiot? Wow, alright, so that's the pink flamingo he keeps yammering on about in all of his comments. It's a rock, or a piece of foil, or part of Buzz's boot, or whatever. A lump of nothing that only looks like a flamingo because that's what Taffy wants to see. It's called pareidolia, old man. It's the human instinct to recognize patterns where there might not necessarily be one. Taffy, is there really a face in this rock, or does it just look like one? Is this glacier actually someone's sexy body, or does it just look like it? Use your brain, dude. Taffy spends the remainder of the video discussing pareidolia and saying that these are actually intentional clues left by whistleblowers, because of course they couldn't just blow the whistle like a whistleblower actually does and admit that they had faked something. I don't care what silly animals Taffy sees in the photos. What we know is this. The rockets launched, their payloads were tracked by amateur ham radio operators all across the world on the way to the moon, and they left retro reflectors there that we can still use today. Not only that, but the landing sites have since been confirmed by JAXA, ISRO, and China. Students at Kettering Grammar School intercepted radio traffic of Apollo 17 on its way to the moon. Amateur astronomers in the UK photographed a fuel dump of Apollo 8's jettison third stage. Coralatus Observatory obtained over 400 short exposure images that confirmed Apollo 8's trajectory toward and away from the moon. Bochum Radio Observatory in Germany independently listened to and recorded the landing of Apollo 11 on the moon. Larry Basinger, a technician for a radio station in Kentucky, also independently detected and recorded transmissions from Apollo 11. His even have added legitimacy as he was unable to pick up responses from Capcom Houston, hearing only the astronauts themselves. Similar observations exist for the remaining Apollo missions, but Taffy will respond to none of this because he's still stuck on what he thinks he sees in the photos. I don't care what you think you see, Taffy. Finding a familiar shape does not a fake photo make. Now, it's time to move on with my life. Taffy is a waste of time to engage any further. He's extremely censorious, and he's deleted a number of comments on videos about me that he considers disrespectful, though the videos themselves are just fine because reasons. Taffy doesn't deserve any more time spent on him than this video. Soon, Taffy, Sooner rather than later, you will die and you will somehow become even less relevant. I won't be watching the rest of your videos on me. Goodbye, crazy old man. Don't forget to change that diaper. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you want to see more, please subscribe and turn on the bell for notifications. If you want to support me further, consider becoming a member 
or a patron, or checking out my merch or my Amazon links. Thank you, and I will see you over the curve, Space Cowboys. In a vast cosmic arena. Our imagined self-importance, the delusion that we have some...